Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sanjay and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can save some money on Amazon using something like Camel Camel Camel, which is an Amazon price tracker. Did you know that Amazon actually dynamically changes their prices on products once or twice a month? Secondly, did you know that there is a way that you can track these price changes so that you know what the historical price of something on Amazon is? And also, if you're interested in a particular product and you want to know when that product is about $10 less, or 10% less or 5% less, you can set up a little email alert so that whenever the price of something drops below a certain amount, you get a quick email sent to you and then you can go ahead and go and buy it. You can do all of these things using a website that I'm about to show you called Camel Camel Camel. By the way, if at any point in this video you're like, wow, I've just learned something new, make sure you hit the like button to spread the love, but also consider subscribing because I'm gonna do more of these videos once a week on this channel about personal finance and investing. Okay, so to get started, you need to fire up two websites. Obviously you need amazon.com.au, which should be pretty straightforward. And then you need the website that we're interested in, camelcamelcamel.com. Very straightforward, three words, exactly the same, camelcamelcamel.com, exactly like that. Now, when you get to the website, it usually defaults to the United States version of it. Depending on which country you're in, you just click on the country that your Amazon store that you're going to be using. So here I'm gonna be in Australia, I'll just click on that. At this point, you don't actually have to sign up to the website yet, and I'll actually tell you now, I've never had to sign up to the website. I find it's quite useful without it. Let's say you get to amazon.com and you're scrolling through it. You can see Amazon already knows I'm a guy, so there's a lot of mail-related products on here. And then I'm interested in buying this book, Atomic Habits. So here it is, it's $25 on paperback. What I now do to use Camel 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 is I grab the website address, copy it, take it to Camel Camel Camel, go into this top left section here where I paste in the address. So once you've typed in the product and you've searched for it, you get this website where it says, okay, this is the product that you're interested in, Atomic Habits. You scroll down and you straight away see the price history of the actual product. So now this is the price of Atomic Habits in the Australian Amazon store over the last, what is it, since 2018. This doesn't include shipping, I'll just call out. This is actually just the individual product price, not including shipping. And you can see it's basically, you know, in the early days of 2018, it was in the high 20s. Now it's, and it wandered down to low 20s towards the end of the year, maybe around December, that was the intention. And then at the start of this year, it's now kind of hovered around the mid 20 mark. And that's, that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanted to scroll down further, you can see a little bit more information around, this is how the Amazon price history has been in the third party price history. If you want to see the trend of the third party price history, you just click on the tick and you can see it there. Now the actual key aspect of this and that you're interested in is probably the price tracking element. So say if you wanted to keep an eye on the price and you wanted to see when it hits a certain price, it's a lot like if you do shares and you wanna get an alert when it hits a certain price, you can do that too. So say we're gonna put in a quick fake email address for the purpose of this. But say you wanted to get, for the Amazon price, you say you wanna see when, when does the price drop by 5%, 10%, or a good deal or the best price it's ever been. So when will it drop below $20? So let's say you wanna see it drop by 10%, you click on that, $22.10. You hit track, and what will happen is you'll get an email sent to your email address where it will give you a little link saying, we've now started tracking this particular product for you. If you ever wanna go back and adjust your settings for it, click here. But also then it just sits in the background basically, and whenever the actual price of this particular product drops to $22.50, you'll get an email from camelcamelcamel.com saying, hey, this price has dropped, you know, go ahead and buy it or whatever you want to do from then on. So it's pretty straightforward. Now I'll just say at this point, I've never had to set up an account for camelcamelcamel.com. It works perfectly fine without needing an account. And you know, in this age of privacy, if you don't need to set up an account, you probably don't have to. I think the idea of setting up an account is that you can keep an eye on all your various trackers that you have set up for all the various products that you're interested in. Up to if you want to do that, but if you're just doing a couple of individual things that you want to keep an eye on, I wouldn't bother setting up an account. I'd just set up a couple of price trackers using my email address for particular products, particular price targets, and leave it at that. Now, I'll just show you that it does work for a few other products. So. Let's say you're interested in this Nintendo Switch Joy controller. Again, just copy the link, take it over here to Camel Camel Camel, hit search, and then again, bang, you can see this is the, how the price for this particular product has varied. I'll be honest, because I've been lying to you up to this point, no, <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never actually monitored and checked the validity of this data. I really just use Camel 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 to monitor the price when it hits a certain target price. 
I don't put that much weighting into how the price has varied over time. It's more like, I'm interested in this product, but I really only want to get it when it drops to maybe under 90 bucks. Now the times when I've found this doesn't work is usually when it comes to fashion. And the reason for that is for whatever reason, products on Amazon vary by size. So for example, it can get a bit tricky here. You're looking at a size nine boot is $180. But if you wanted a size 13 AU boot, it's $182 something in between 10.5 US, $200. There's various price variation that can occur because of sizing. And that can catch out camel, camel, camel. So what I'll often do is, you, you the best thing to do is actually just pick the size of the product you actually want, grab the link, and then whack it in. And here we go. And you can see, okay, so this is the price of this particular product, the Blundstone, uh, 550 brown 10.5 AU and that's how that's varied and you can see it you know it was at one point $125 for the third party price. Other times when this won't work is if you're looking for like a really hot new item because basically maybe it hasn't had time to get tracked as a product. So let's say this uh, la, la, this shirt whatever it's called however it's pronounced you grab this this is actually in real time I'm testing this out maybe it will work and it does work. Okay, so this Lacoste shirt, you click on it, and then, yeah, there we go. We don't have enough data to char, please check back later. So, it, basically the price history doesn't work, but you can still set up a price alert to keep an eye on how this particular product's price varies over time. And again, I would just clarify, if you don't set the price when you take the link, it will default to some, you know, extra, extra large. So if you want a particular size, you have to actually pick that size, say it's extra small, that's usually me, I'm always extra small, and then set the alert up based on particular extra small, and then it will track the extra small price. It's a little thing, but you know, sometimes you gotta be specific if you need to. That's it for today, guys. There's not much more else to say. Hopefully you found that pretty useful. If you do know of any other price trackers out there, please leave a comment below, keen to see them and check them out. Camel 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 is pretty much the only one I use and it's served me pretty well whenever I've wanted to buy something, not in the immediate term, but some point in the future. And that's probably the key thing about this is, look, if you, if you need to buy something, you're just gonna buy it. You're not gonna wait to see if it dropped $10, $20. But if there's something out there that you wanna keep an eye on, probably handy to use Camel 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 to keep an eye on it. And when it hits a certain target price, then you can go ahead and buy it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos along these lines of personal finance, finance tips, investing, especially in an Australian context, make sure you subscribe. I'll do more videos like this at least once a week on this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.